Because if students are healthier and more fit, they're more likely to be academically successful. So as we've been doing that over the last 10 years, we realized, wow, if we could get to teachers earlier on in their training and instill in them a clearer understanding of the role of health, nutrition, and fitness, and how that affects academic performance, we, it would be a win-win for the state of Mississippi. Our goal is to provide an option for elementary education students so that if they have a passion in health, wellness, and physical activity, they can actually get an endorsement in health, wellness, and physical activity while actually going through our traditional elementary education program. The basic theory behind Move to Learn uh, says that children need movement. And when children move, academically, things improve. What happens in exercise, and when we do what's called a brain break, uh, a child gets up beside his desk, children get up beside their desk, and they exercise for five minutes. During that time, they force oxygen to the brain. Well, all the research suggests that when children do that, not only do they improve brain cell growth, but they're able to sit down afterwards and focus and com concentrate on the academics. We can show through research that it decreases behavioral problems in the classroom. It increases academic achievement. There are so many um, possible or so many positives when it comes to physical activity in the school that it has a direct impact on the academic achievement and the health and well-being of children. In my personal opinion, I, I believe it's going to be the only elementary program, I think, in the nation that integrates physical activity as an, not only an endorsement, but a critical component of the elementary curriculum.